Hello, this is Mike Lively, and today we're going to learn about databasing in Flash Builder in only five lines of code. Now, of course, it takes more than five lines of code to write a database system. Uh, so what I mean by the only five lines of code is that you only have to write five lines of code. The rest of that code is going to be auto-generated. That's right. This is fantastic. And, of course, you can get all this code from code.google.com, forward slash p, forward slash lively3d, forward slash downloads, forward slash list. It'll be about a three or four video series, and we're going to cover CRUD in Flash Builder. Of course, CRUD stands for C for Create, R for Read, U for Update, and D for Delete. Now, what I want you to do for me is forget all the old stuff. That's right. Forget all that stuff that you learned in Flex 3 and Flex 2. It's not going to work. So forget the, the old XML uh, PHP trick where you actually just create an XML sheet and you read that into Flex. That's not going to happen. You're going to use tokens and value objects and uh, you're going to use data providers to bind to uh, different graphical objects in Flex. Now, Flash Builder itself does not know what a database is. But it knows what an array collection is. It knows what data binding is. And so that's how you're going to actually talk to your different uh, um, graphical elements. But you're going to actually talk to the database using tokens and you're going to actually talk back to it using value objects. So uh, very exciting new stuff and all auto-generated. You're going to want to get started though by going and downloading LAMP, MAMP, or WAMP. This will be a local server that you can download to your machine and basically work on your machine locally. And that will speed up the process and actually Flash Builder is set up to do and talk to that server very readily. Now what is LAMP? Well it has a uh, it's for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. That's the Linux version. Or if you're working on a Mac, you want MAMP. Or if you're working on a Windows, you want WAMP. That's just a whole server package combined. And, of course, you'll be using Apache and MySQL and PHP server. And we're going to show you how to install and use it for local development. We're going to overview uh, it and talk about ports. We're going to talk about localhost, root, and www. The holy grail, of course, of this whole system is a PHP my admin. That was the thing that kind of, since just riveted me to creating databases. It's so easy to use that as opposed to trying to hand type it all in MySQL code. And finally, we're going to build a database. And we're going to next connect that database to Flash Builder. So when connecting that database to Flash Builder, you want to check uh, the PHP option, run the data wizard for all the auto-generation of the PHP services, auto-generate form code, and we're going to move things around and use code completion, and use auto-code stubbing. And finally, in this series, we are going to address accessing the data provider. Like I said, once again, Flash Builder doesn't know what a, a database is, but it does know what an array is or a data provider is, and you're going to want to be able to directly access that data provider. Though in this series, we will be working with the um, data grid component as well. Let's take a look at the application. So I'm up in Flash Builder, and here's the base application. You can see I have a data grid on the screen. I called it My Little Database Editor by Lively. And I have another number of buttons here. This is Create, Read, Update, and Delete. And then there's Save Updates and Revert Updates. So you basically want to make sure you save your updates to make sure they stick. So I'm just going to run this program and demonstrate the application. So what I've done now is I've tapped into a database that I've created in PHP My Admin. It's running on my local server, and I, it's going to be basically the start database for my book. So chapter 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I have images, videos, and descriptions for each chapter. And here's the idea of the database. Now if I want to create a new element of that database, I typically don't want to just start from scratch. I start from something I already have. So I just click on that, and you see down here appeared the old element. I'm going to create a new element, so I'll call that element 5. That's the ID. That'll be chapter 5 and image 5 and video 5, for example. And then you could put whatever, whatever else you want in there. And just hit create and boom, you have your fifth element. It's done. Now that's been sent to the SQL server. So that's been changed in the database from my Flex or Flash application. Isn't that wonderful? Now I may just want to update an element, so let's go to 2. Or let's go to 3. You see video is not spelled right here, so let's hit uh, update. Well, I have to update it first. So when I click on it, notice when I click on the different elements of the data grid, they appear down here in the Create or Update boxes. So I want to update that. Go to Video, hit O, and that's called Video now, and you can hit Update. Now, it updated it here in the data grid, but it did not update it in the database. To make that happen, you had to hit Save Updates. But if you've been working, well, I've really made a stupid mistake. You can always come along and hit Revert Changes. Okay, ooh, changed it back. So let's go ahead and change it again. Let's update it, and now let's hit Save Changes. 
Now it has been saved to the database. If I try to revert changes, that no, no, won't work because I've already saved it to the database. So, you know, if you're typing away and make a terrible mistake, you can hit uh, revert ch updates and it'll just redo for you. Now, say I don't like this row 5 anymore. I can come in along here and just delete it. And it's gone. Hey, isn't that cool? Or maybe I want to read a particular item by ID. So I just hit ID 3. And I just hit read by ID. And over on this column right here is the ID right here. Isn't that cool? And all of this is being managed from Flash Builder. So from now on, you don't have to worry about tapping into a database or into MyPHP. You can just bring up your Flash Builder program, put in your appropriate information, and up comes your database, and you change it right here on the screen. Or, better yet, you can actually implement this with a 3D graphical system. And that's exactly where we're headed. And all of this code, practically all of it except for five lines, is going to be generated automatically for you. So stay tuned. Uh, this is uh, video one of databasing in Flash Builder in only five lines of code by Mike Lively.